Hello viewers, this is IT system admin, a complete troubleshooting solution for you. Today in this tutorial, I am going to show you how to fix virtual machine could not be started because the hypervisor is not running in Windows 10 or Windows Server 2016 computer. Sometimes it becomes very important for you, so don't forget to watch full video. Virtual machine may become unresponsive when the hard disk runs out of space. Guest operating system on the virtual machine may cause VM to appear unresponsive. The virtual machine disk controller not set as the best practice. This is the main issue to make the cause virtual machine could not be started because the hypervisor is not running but your hypervisor is still running okay now i am going to sh show you how to fix this issue in search type cmd right click on command prompt click on run as administrator in command prompt type bcd edit slash set hypervisor launch type auto now hit enter the operation completed successfully now close command prompt in search type this pc right click on this pc Click on properties. In left side, you will find advanced system configuration. Sometimes you will find this link in right side also. Okay, click on advanced system setting. Advanced tab is selected. In performance counter, click on setting now click on data execution prevention now click on turn on DEP for essential windows programs and services only turn on it and click on apply after clicking on apply, you will find a notification that the changes you have made require you to restart your computer before they can take effect. Click on OK and then click on OK. Now again click on OK. Now you have to restart your computer. Click on start menu. Click on power button and click on restart after restarting your computer you may check whether hypervisor is working or not hyper v open hyper v click on a virtual guest computer and double click on it now click on start look my virtual machine is starting right now okay i am not going to open this virtual machine minimize this and minimize this hypervisor manager hope your problem has been solved this is all for today hope this tutorial is helpful for you keep watching for next tutorial thank you very much